Welcome to the Old Boar Plays City Skylines. This is a video tutorial series all about Railway 2 train networks. I'm putting in functioning rail infrastructure. And in this video, I'll be showing you two options for advanced connections from a four-track passenger line down to a two-track passenger line. We'll take a turn out from this passenger line across the highway and into the future downtown area. There's two different ways of going about this. One is using regular Railway 2 train tracks that are nodeless and the other is using the new Railway 2 dynamic procedural train tracks. I'll show you the dynamic procedural train tracks first. This is Railway 2 Procedural USA Wired Gravel Concrete 4x2. And I'll just stretch a track across. They look almost exactly the same, if not exactly the same, as the Railway 2 train networks. Make sure I've got the right track here. Now I'm going to take Railway 2 Procedural USA Wired Gravel Concrete 2x2. And I'm going to put on a curved track. Anarchy. Boggle road bending. And I'm going to come out two segments before I start to curve this track. These connections are actually pretty smooth. So you can be the judge for yourself. This is the turnout with Dynamic Procedural Railway 2 networks. And I've tested these, they work just fine. And you've got both rails If you look at the icon, this side of the quad track is going this direction, this side of the quad track is going down. This side of the double track is going this direction, and this side is coming in. So it's going to have to go to this side of the rail. Also, with these dynamic procedural networks, you can use Traffic Manager President Edition and with a lane controller, you can select the edge of this one And click this lane. And then select this one. You'll see this lane here is actually connected to this little green bar. And this can be but to this lane. Because when they come across, all the way across, it looks a little odd. And so with this, 
trains coming out of this turnout into the four track passenger lane come into this lane. That's the option using the new train tracks. We could try and move it to see if we can actually move this. We've got this node highlighted and we can see if we can move this catenary back just a bit. We come right to the edge, highlight the green and then come down to the edge of the catenary. You can highlight this node and we want to drag this back far enough or massage it a bit. Now using a mod called Adaptive Networks, I'm going to click on these segments here and we can remove that catenary. Now we go back, holding down Alt, we'll snap this into place. We'll move this back. And of course we have this glitch here, but that can be fixed. Now we'll want to go back to Adaptive Networks and put back on this catenary there. We might even be able to select this, holding down Alt, shifting it just a bit, see if we can clean up that glitch. This cleans up the glitches, cleans up the catenaries, and gives you a functioning turnout to a two-track line. The method using railway two train networks is a little bit more involved and I'll show you that one as well. I'm going to take this track all the way back. Now I'll be using Railway 2 USA wired gravel concrete 4x2 that are nodeless. Nine segments is a full segment length of track. Now we're going to need one way Railway 2 USA wired gravel concrete 2x1 nodeless. You notice the icon here is nodeless. We're going to come straight out of this center node. We're going to come three full segments out, which is 27 units. Now we're going to delete out this segment. We'll be using our network multi-tool and the create parallel mode. You'll want to bring these tracks in.
down to four meters. Hit enter. And now you'll want to delete out this track that we laid in the center. Using parallel mode again, we're going to bring this track in eight meters and hit enter. We have this two tracks coming in and this two tracks going out. So from the center node, we'll take it out to the right hand side node. And this node will bring in Now with Network Multi-Tool, we're going to dissolve or remove the nodes that are right here. Now I'll be using Node Controller. And we're going to hold down Control and Alt at the same time. Keeping them held down, we're going to select this track and that opens up the segment in controller. Over here in the left corner outward position, you can see the box is highlighted green. We're going to push our mouse wheel upwards away from ourselves. Four units. Now continuing to hold down Control and Alt, we'll select the other side. We're also going to drag our mouse wheel towards us, four units. These are good connections. Trains run over them fine. And basically we have broken down a four track to two individual double tracks going the correct direction. While we're here, we're going to clean up the catenaries. And we're going to need to select SAB and use our upgrade track tool on each segment. This segment and this one. You can see how the catenaries are straightening up. What we do have left over is this little problem of two catenaries on one node. Selecting the node and bending it out. If you select the node and you bend it out, you see how the catenary disappears. Now we're going to pop it back in place. We're just going to move it just slightly until that catenary disappears. This particular catenary is just a little bit off now. So you can try to massage these back and forth to see if you can get them to work correctly. So 
So now we have the correct catenaries on a breakdown between four track to two individual two track lines. Now we're going to take one way nodeless wired one by one nodeless. Again, we're going to take a stretch of track out 27 units. Once we have this track stretched out, we're going to use network multi-tool again in the parallel mode. First, we're going to delete our section of track and then using the parallel mode again, going to bring this track in to two meters. And now very carefully, we're going to delete this outside track. Not this one, but this one. Now using the parallel mode again, We're going to switch this track to the other side and bring it down to four meters. Hit enter. At this point, you're going to want to change the direction of those tracks. You're going to want to change the outside track pointing to the right. Also, it might be a good idea to go ahead and remove those catenaries. You notice that your direction is changing. Take the catenaries off with network skins. Now with Network Multi-Tool Parallel Mode again, we're going to select this track and this one. Using the Tab key, we'll bring this out and we're going to bring the track in to 4 meters. There's already another piece of track waiting to be laid down. Hit your plus key move it out to eight meters. Now we have four individual one-way train tracks. And we're gonna clean up the catenaries on the other end. First, we'll take them all off. This is the simplest way I know to make sure I'm making my catenaries correctly. Make sure your arrows are still pointing in the correct direction. And now on the outside tracks, we're going to put the SAA Now that we have our one-way tracks still selected, we 
I'm going to take a track out to the right hand node and see here that we have four nodes. We need to take one out to this node and then one out to this node. The second node, not the third. And then the fourth and the fifth. If you lay two pieces of track, you need to catch that or you'll have problems. You want to control Z to make sure you didn't lay another piece of track down. Sometimes your mouse sensitivity is just too much and you lay two pieces of track. And again, we're going to correct these directions of the tracks. Now with Network Multi-Tool, we're going to dissolve these four nodes. And you'll see that we have catenaries in again. We'll have to clean those up in a minute. Now with your node controller, hold down Control-Alt you'll see we have two sections of track here. We'll select the right hand side first. We're going to roll our mouse wheel up two units. Then we'll select the other side, roll it backwards two units. Now you've successfully broken down a four track line into two two track lines and two two track lines into four individual one way lines. And your directions should all be pointing correctly. In order to change the catenaries, you want to hover over close to this section, hover over each individual track. You can see the tiny little mouse pointer, silver mouse pointer on the railroad track is hovering over the track in the center of the track. And you can see those catenaries disappear. These are okay. Now we'll choose SAA and we'll put one on the outside, not, not this track, but the outside and one on this one. Now we'll be using Railway 2 USA 2x2 two two noted. I'm going to leave my catenary on double for this. I want to get an angle. This is all basically up to you. I'm going to come out three segments. 
and then over to this node here and just stretch a track across at the angle that I want. I'm usually stretching my tracks in multiples of nine so that my catenaries are correct. Now we're going back to one way nodeless, one by one nodeless. You can use curve track or freeform track. I usually use this, but in this case, I'm going to use curve track and I'm going to put my cursor over this first node. And now you can see these blue lines that come out with precision engineering. I've got one right on the node. It's coming from the other track. So right here, I'm going to click my curve and take it straight into this node. Now I'm going to select this third node over. I'm going to do the same thing again. Again, if you're thinking ahead, you could have removed your catenaries. I'm also going to change the direction of the track with my right mouse button. At this point, you can either bring two tracks out of this line or you can add all four tracks. It's up to you. I'll go ahead and I'll use all four. You could use two tracks and this will work fine. To go into a double track line, you only really need two tracks. So before I lay two more tracks on these, I'm going to use node controller and straighten up the other ends. It'll get too confusing if you have too many tracks coming into this double track line. Hold down Control Alt. Move the mouse wheel down two units. Select your other side. And move your mouse wheel up two units. Now I'm ready to put in my other two tracks. And I'll need to change the direction of that last one.
Now with Node Controller, Control Alt, and you'll see that we have many different little pieces in here. The way you're going to distinguish these is two of them already have the settings correct. This one has no settings, but which track is it? If you notice, I'm putting the little tip of the node controller. It looks like a little cursor. It's a white cursor. I'm going to move it to the inside. I'm going to click on that one. That one has settings. This one does not. This one has settings. This one does not. This one should be the one that goes to the outside track. And roll our mouse wheel upward two positions. And then we'll come to this one. This one has settings. This one does not. And we'll roll our mouse wheel downwards to settings. And we've got quite a bit of massaging to do, but that's okay. Many people spend hours and hours detailing a small neighborhood. This is the same. We're just detailing Railway 2 train tracks. Even though the new dynamic procedural train tracks do this a lot more easily, this is the most detailed way that you can do all of your network connections. I'm going to want to select this track here. Once you've selected it, just start dragging this track here and just keep your mouse held down. Start dragging it. You'll see that this one hasn't been selected correctly. We're going to go back to node controller and find it. Somehow my position got changed from two to one. I want to go ahead and bring that back down. And now we've got train tracks all connected up. These wheels still work. Whenever you're using move it, it's advantageous to hold down on the alt key to snap these into place if possible. I'm going to select this node. I'm holding down alt and you see how that it's come in fairly well. I'm going to hold down alt select my node and snap it into place. Out in these nodes that are in the center of this that I need to move, I'm going to come back up to the front, to the top, select my node, and snap it with holding down alt. Now I'm going to bend this track in place until I see that those connections are smooth. You can see the rails almost laying over one another.
The sleepers, you can also adjust these so that the sleepers have gravel between them. By pulling up and down. Everything is, everything is connected into this one center node. Sometimes I snap it out, holding down Alt. Now I'm moving it up and down to try to correct the sleepers a little bit. These little glitches also, if you'll hold down alt and just move them up a bit and move them back, sometimes they'll correct themselves. If you bend out on one this direction, you might have to bend in this direction with the other. Once you bend these other segments, you're going to have to come back and adjust this one again as well. This is the method using Railway 2 normal nodeless train tracks. And now we're going to put in our catenaries and we're going to have to make sure that our directions are kept correct.
you know you've connected those up when you see the wires that come into place. Sometimes removing them and putting them back and correct them. These are basically the elements that you need to make these turnouts and rail yards and train stations much more detailed. Now we need to connect this piece of track to this one. So again, we'll be breaking down this nodeless piece of track. With two way nodeless, two by one nodeless. to four meters to lead out your outside track now come down to eight meters and lay the track
Now we'll break these down into four nodeless one ways. At the base of your track, where the four blinking unconnected roads are, you see 180 degrees. You'll need to see that, and you'll want to bring this to this node here. Now you'll take node number two, You want to bring it up to node number two. And you can't quite see your degrees. It should be at 180. This is node one. This is node two. We'll take node number three. and bring it in into the third node. This one goes to the fourth. On those last two tracks, because it's so difficult to change your arrow directions, 
You could count nodes. This is one, two, three. And you could try to bring it straight into your other track. I need to get down below these icons here. I'm going to do it one more time. Quite a mess. And we've got a tiny little glitch here. Sometimes with Node Controller, you can fix these little glitches with Node Controller. You can fix these by making these custom. Now we have to put in our catenaries and we'll be ready. These segments you can use the same. Don't want to do that because if you do this, you'll have to re straighten out your tracks with Node Controller. If you move your mouse wheel down, you'll be changing other things and you can come over here and reset to default and just try it again. So upgrading catenaries on these, we have to have the correct track selected. going to be B. You need to always keep your eye on your directional arrows. And again, on this end, if you select this node and hold down Alt, you might be able to make that catenary disappear off the other end there. by stretching it just slightly. Catenary disappears at that position. And I might just be good with that. Now we need to go back to this track. Keep an eye on your arrows.
Sometimes if you need to work on an inner side of a track, you can hold down Alt and move this one out of the way. Bend this one the way you need it. Here's another one. Select the node, hold down on Alt, and now you're able to move move this one a little bit more freely. You can see it snap into place. Quite a delicate process. I've got one little catenary here that I'm not too proud of. You can find that node, pull down on Alt, you might be able to make it disappear. It might be on this track here. Don't know which one it is. And at this point, all of our arrows are pointing in the correct direction, as far as my eyes can see. You'll know that catenary is part of this track because you'll see the catenary move. It's this track here the catenary belongs to. So holding down on Alt, you could try to move this. This is quite wonky in here. I'm going to straighten these up holding down on Alt. You'll see when you ride a train through here how straight these actually are. Thank you for watching The Old Boar Plays City Skylines. Take care now.